Welcome back to the King of Hearts podcast hosted by me, Kiara King. Today, I have a beautiful guest. She's a friend of mine and she's now a doctor. Her name is V. V, welcome to the show. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Honestly. Yeah, I'm so proud of you and listen to this podcast. I think it's so important to have people on the internet who are so vulnerable and open because so We're many too of vulnerable us. vulnerable sometimes. No, no, no. It's perfect because so many of us are going through the things you're going through. You're just brave enough to like say it. So actually... Thank you for that. Well, now we're going to get you and brave it. How do you feel about that? Being on here talking about dating, love heartbreak. Nervous because I never really talk about this I on know. the internet. So it's kind of like iconic really. Yeah. Well, so for those of you who don't know, V is an educational activist. Yes. She is a PhD, PhD student, student, doctorate. Yes. Yes, so I'm currently doing my PhD degree right now. And then I just got an honorary doctorate degree from the University of Bradford. So it's kind of a weird youngest, thing youngest. to get that while you're doing your studies. Pretty unheard of, you know. Pretty, but like, pretty rare. She's a rare diamond. But I'm really, really proud. And I love putting education so on the map and yes. championing young people. So anything to do with empowerment, education. Yes, women. Things like that. Women, you can come to me. Well, that's why we want to bring you here to educate the people and also educate them on your love life as well potentially <laughs> that that little old thing yeah well we all have it that's the thing that's the beauty of love that's the beauty of dating yeah. is we all go through it yeah. whether you're a student whether you're a 40 year old whether you're a 15 year old whether yeah. you're a boy whether you're a girl like yeah. love dating relationships heartbreak mm -hmm. healing everyone goes through it yeah you know no matter who you are so that's why we we love talking about it. We love a little gossip sesh. So just treat this as a little like therapy session. Just a little session. And I love that <laughs> because I think that often, especially in the role and space that I'm in, like yeah. going to speak at the United Nations during like my lunch break, people are just not going to see that side. And I feel no. like I really want to reshape what it looks like to be like this like serious academic you can still dress up, still be fashionable, still yeah. like talk about your love life and it doesn't take away <clears> from like my expertise in that field you Absolutely. know so yeah I'm really excited to be here yeah and if anything it makes you more connected to yeah. to your audience and the people that watch you like your audience mainly women or yes I think it's like 94 percent you know and they're really wow. young as well so I don't want them to grow up thinking if I want to be like V I need to be a robot and like switch off yeah. from having fun from like having fun. my friends and exactly I do like I try to showcase different aspects of myself and still show myself being a serious academic because I think that yeah. two can always go hand in hand. Yeah, and I think there's a stereotype of like a typical geek yes. who just doesn't leave the library, doesn't do anything, exactly. doesn't have a social life. But then there's you, you do everything and anything. You're at all the social events. You're meeting Naomi Campbell on a Thursday, you know, like it's crazy. <laughs> Naomi Campbell on Thursday, library Literally. on Friday, it's, you know, that's the vibes. It's giving Hannah Montana. It is giving Hannah Montana. You are literally Hannah Montana. I love that for me. I love that for you too. Thanks, babe. So I have a few questions to oh, ask you. Scary. Just a little, you know, fun times, a little dating <laughs> Q&A. No, so take it as you will. Mm -hmm. We can just have a little deep dive. I can tell you about my, my issues as well. <laughs> if you love me, let me fly away. Maybe I'll come back to you. Maybe I won't. Controversial quote of the week is, until one of them shows you consistency, mm -hmm. date all of them. <laughs> Controversial, but if one of them doesn't show you consistency, why should you give your time and put all your eggs in that one basket if no. he can't give you his whole basket? Yeah, Sorry. I I, I low-key agree with that in the sense of like, until you have committed and you're like tied down, locked in and you're like, this is what we're doing. You both mutually agree that I think everybody's free to still date. Yeah. You know, I think obviously... With communication. Yeah, I think it's the communication Clear aspect. communication. But like you giving your whole self to someone who's not giving you even 1%. Exactly. Doesn't really make sense. And no, 
Yeah, I, I, t- I feel like we do that as women a lot. We tend to like yeah. really put all our eggs in one basket. We'll oh, be yeah. talking to one guy and just like completely commit to them and like, oh my God, I want to marry this man. And they're literally giving <laughs> us the bare minimum. That's me, it's the worst. It's me too. I'll meet I, one guy I and think they're my husband. Tattoo on my head. <laughs> I need a reminder. I'll be like, oh my God, like what will we name our children? No, seriously, same. I'll be looking up the horoscopes. I'll yeah. be looking up the compatibility. Yeah. I'll be looking all of it up. Yeah. After one meeting with them. So I need that controversial quote in my life forever, honestly. Yeah. But so, I agree with it, but yeah. I just don't always act on it. Yeah, but because we're, as nature is, yeah. we do like to hone in on that one person. Yeah. But if they're not giving us all of it, no, then and we like, should keep our options open. I like someone to feel like valued and loved by me. And the way that I can do that is to like give them my all. But sometimes you really, you're not supposed to. So it's no. like, it's so difficult because your head is telling you one thing, but your heart is like, but yeah. I want to show you like how good this could be as well. Yeah. So I'm going to show you what kind of like future wifey I would be. But, but then it's then- like, you're also idealizing them as well yeah. and putting them on a pedestal when yeah. actually they're yeah. all the way down on the ground and you're yeah. the one that should be on the pedestal. Yeah. You should be like, why am I interested in them? Not mm. do they like me? Yeah, it's uh, isn't it so difficult to like put into action the things you know? You'll, I be, know. you'll be standing there knowing yeah. full well that if you had like a child or like your little sister and they asked you for advice, you would not give them the no. advice of what you're doing. Well, exactly. I'm the wouldn't. best at giving advice. Yeah. I, hence, I have this whole podcast. I'm amazing at giving advice and not taking it. Yeah, it's, it's so much the, easier to give worst. advice yeah. and not follow your own rules. Exactly. So um, but we're yeah, only human. I, I love that controversy. I don't even think that should be controversial. In fact, yeah, I think that should be normalized. Exactly. To keep keep your options open yeah. until someone literally says to you, I want to be with you and I'm going to do everything I can to be with you. I'm going to be consistent with you. And yeah. then you'll be like, okay. And I'm talking boombox style. Like, yeah, outside, outside the window. Door, outside yes. the window, throw the stones in the middle of the night, climb up the stairway, yeah. dance in the rain. But kind do, you, of. do you think romance is dead though nowadays? I do. I do. do. And I feel like the internet is low key to blame. Oh my God, social because media. I feel like people are so scared of like looking a certain way. And but also like, committing because they think that the grass is greener because they'll look on Instagram grass. and be like, oh, I can get better. Yeah, I wish I could have only for the sake of the romantic part lived in like 80s or something. You yeah. know, just to, just to experience what does it look like when you're not living and being courted. Or, yeah, being courted and like no yeah. social media pressure. Not having a phone and you're... you're the guy yeah. is going to have to call your parents' house oh. to like ask permission and be to brave enough to knock on that door. And then that you wait at the bar for you <gasps> and not know if you're going to turn up or not because you don't have phones. And his heart's beating. Yeah. And like, just like right now, you go on Twitter and you'll see people say, like, it's our three month anniversary. And there's like Dior on the table. And there's, yeah. Babies. And then you're just, but it's all fake. Like, exactly. Someone's I like can thinking, speak from experience. He doesn't love me because he didn't do it. And it's like, Man, our ideas of romance are so warped, but romance is actually dead. Now it's just now it's just showing. It's a show. It's just yeah. a show. Like, trust me, I can speak from experience. Like, my <gasps> ex did all of those things for me, all the balloons and everything. But it was unfortunately love bombing. Is that what you'd call it? A bit and more to show that he was the most amazing boyfriend in the world, but not in act. Like, it's just empty gestures because he might have put balloons in that room. But there was nothing in his heart. But he just wanted social media to see that. <gasps> oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. But like, you know, the people that put the most on social media, I'm saying yeah. in general, like, yeah. I know there are some situations where people are actually in love and doing the biggest and the best gestures and posting all over social media. But most of the time, the people that post their partners the most, number one, and the people that are outwardly expressing their love for their partner online basically very public are usually the ones that are the suffering the most i agree with this and i think it was you're trying to validate the fact that you that, know like you need that reassurance yeah. and i feel like someone like patricia bright Love said her. something Love before her. she was like oh my gosh my husband put petrol in my car and she was like that's the most romantic thing and then everyone was like ah that's not romantic and she was like no 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 like for me 
is the you thinking of me daily, yeah. making my life easier, like yeah. waking up and getting the kids ready for school. Yeah. Or she was like, those are the biggest gestures for me because yeah. that's that's love, you know? That's yeah. how she feels it. Whereas people are like, if it's not the big balloons and, and the, the whole flowers, shebang, you yeah. don't care. And it's like, actually, the fact that she's never had to put petrol on her car anymore because he thinks ahead before she's even... It's the little things. That's what I want. Yeah, same. Someone who considers me and like really thinks of me in all that they're doing yeah because it's easy to buy some flowers it's, it's easy to just to buy like the generic gift to spend money but something with thought especially when we both are successful yeah. in our careers that's what i it's mean it's the little thought that that's important and like no because if he can do the balloons and the romantics but he forgets your birthday or forgets that like your sister's important to you and something's happening in her life or the things that actually like matter will, yeah like that's why a lot of relationships broke down in, in lockdown because like you couldn't do all the grand crazy no. stuff and now people realize, oh, there's, we don't have anything here. Now we just have to sit at home and actually talk. Yeah, and like you actually Get don't along. know me. No, but then a lot of relationships also blossomed in COVID. Yeah. That's crazy. Like yeah. new people met in COVID. New, I was going to say the but new then relationships. then I've had COVID relationship <gasps> and then it ended because you're like in that fairy Bubble. tale of COVID and there's no reality. And then you get back to reality and you're like, wait, actually we don't, we aren't compatible in reality. Oh. Isn't that sad? That is really sad. And you know what? Like, I just think that when love dies, it's the saddest thing. It is the saddest thing. But was love ever there in the first oh. place? was Stop love it. ever there in the first place because so if it's deep. true love it should last a lifetime and weather all storms yeah. and my friend always says the kind of love that he wants is where that picture of the man sitting outside on like the bus stop and it's raining and he's angry but he's still got the umbrella over his wife yeah like that's that's it that's it that's what i want that's what i want to oh so are are you single or are you are you taken? Are you dating? That was really smooth. Yeah. <laughs> Just, you know. I really like how you did that. <laughs> so good. This is a question that I get <clears throat> asked in my DMs every other day. Really? Like it is such a question. Everyone's like, okay, but <laughs> are you dating? I mean, Technically, like, no. No. You yeah. know? Same. Technically, no. But, like, I definitely, like, the, there is someone oh. that I, like, feel strongly about. But, like, we're not. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. And I feel like, yeah, only it's an only time we tell type of thing. Exactly. And don't rush into things. That's the one piece of advice exactly. I can give you. Exactly. Do not. Yeah. I've done it in the past. I jumped straight into a relationship. Mm. Don't do it. Take your time to get to know someone because you people surprise you. People surprise and you might surprise them too. Yeah. I feel like right now, like I need to, I've got some making up to do. So I honestly I don't know. I really don't know. But like <laughs> hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm just making my apologies right now. Oh, okay. I see. Let's see if he listens to this. I know, I'm hoping like, you know, but you know when you can't put, you can't put pressure on it because it's so fragile. No, and just like water it. Yeah, and I don't want to be deluded. But don't well. overwater it either. Exactly, I'm just trying to give him some space and just see how it goes. Yeah, so, take day by day. I yeah. think if we think, us as women, we tend to overthink and think too far ahead, but that yeah. ends up ruining things. Exactly, and I think my main focus right now <clears> is just like, on nurturing the friendship and just yeah. like restoring the friendship more than anything else because I think that's more important. And, and the actually, best relationships come from friendship. Exactly. And if in five years, four years, it's like, oh my God, something happens. Like, great. If nothing ever happens, five I'm just years. grateful. You're going to wait for five years, babe. I'm impatient. If you make him, if a man makes me wait for five years, I would, nah, I'm out. In the next few years. However oh, not years. even. I don't have time to waste. I'm 25. How old are you? I'm 26. Well, you want to wait until you're 30 for him to make a decision. Okay, again? maybe I'm exaggerating. I'll give him a few months <laughs> just to see where his head's at. But my point is, like, I'm still grateful to just be in his yeah. orbit and just to, like, know him. Aww. That actually, if a friendship is all that, like, it can be, I'm okay with that as well. Wow. <laughs> Was that poetic? That's really sweet. That just means you care about him as a person. I do. I do. You know, I and do. I feel like when you date, 
it's crazy. It's like I was watching this TikTok the other day and there was a girl, she was like, you know, when you date someone, you just date them. And then when you guys break up, you'll never hear from that person again. Like, it's like you told that person everything about your life, all about your deepest, crazy? darkest secrets. The next day, blocked, gone. Isn't that Off, crazy? out and finished. And that, then you never hear from them again. That blew And you mind. were so intimate with them as well. And it's just like, bye. No, don't know who you are now. That hurts bye -bye. me. We're just gonna take a pause there and we'll be back after this break. But then I guess when you have a friendship, mm. you can always go back to that maybe. That's what I'm saying. I feel like that's what we're trying to do is just to just like go on this healing journey and just hopefully just restore the friend. That's my main thing. Cause I've had a breakup <clears throat> before. And yeah, that so when's the last time you were heartbroken? I think right now. You're heartbroken right now? Yeah, I would say right this very second. Babe, wait, the last time I saw you, you were- Okay, so the last time you saw me, I was not heartbroken about that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry if you ever hear okay. <laughs> I was not heartbroken about that. So something happened after that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I last saw you, like I was in a really, oh gosh, I was in a It wasn't really, re like you'd ended though, hadn't you? Yes. So yeah. the last, last time I saw you, I was like, oh my God, I'm in a happy, healthy yeah. relationship. Then we broke yes. up. And yes. I, I healed quite quickly from that. Like I was fine. Like, you weren't like to, that into Yeah, it. no, I wasn't. It, I wasn't like, oh my goodness. I, I got over that quite quick. Yeah. And then when I saw you, I was just chilling. I was good. Yeah, you were good. You yeah. Were... And then now. So, something happened since. Yeah. Same person. No different, different. That's what I mean. Like oh, that was, no. but right now I feel like, I feel like I'm at a crossroads of like, wow, like I finally could have a chance with the person that I've always truly liked in my life. And then like I messed it up. Oh, you messed it up. Yeah. That's why I'm like, I have to give him time. Oh, babe. I'll you give know as long what? as it requires. There you go. Because I, I have but to you be know patient. what? Be kind to yourself as well. Because yeah. like you're a good person. And good uh -huh. people also make mistakes. My sister's I've been saying I've made mistakes. Me. Everyone makes mistakes. It's not life without yeah. mistakes. It's not. And like if you're listening to this right now. And you're, you've fucked up in a relationship. Mm. Or in a past relationship. Mm. And you feel bad about it doesn't mean you're a bad person. It just means yeah. good people do bad things. Sometimes good people make mistakes. That's what life is all about. That's what I'm you trying know? to, my sister was Don't saying Don't beat that. yourself up about it. I think I think it's more like I hold myself to such a high moral standard that like yeah. I just don't like to let people down more than anything. But so. you know what? You're aware of it. And mm -hmm. a lot of people can make a lot of stupid mistakes mm -hmm. and not even be aware and not even feel bad. No, I feel terrible. Yeah. I feel terrible just because I think I think it's important to when you say you love someone in the way that you do to show up in the way that you say you love them. And I just feel like I just think all in all, I just didn't really like consider his emotions. Right. You know what I mean? I, think I that's feel like maybe, maybe we forget that men do feel as well. That's the thing. And I think yeah. that's where I just I just dismiss just like, ah, oh, who cares? You know, but actually it matters. So, yeah, I have but, feelings, too. But I think, you know, I'm just gonna take my time i'm definitely not like in the mood to meet anybody else right now no let's just say that that doesn't even become a thing i just right now i just need a break i need you like need to chill a solid five or six months <laughs> wow that's a long time <laughs> five or, try me in 2025 okay so if anybody's interested in me Try me in 2025. 2025 is the time you should be knocking on V's door exactly. with a boombox. Exactly. And if you're wondering what my type is, somebody what is your type? taller than me, definitely. Yeah. A little bit funny, a lot funny. They um, have to make you laugh. I'm the same. To, like, they have if you don't to. make you laugh, like, what's the point? Well, we're all going to be old and ugly one day. Like, what's the point? We need to laugh our way to death, you, need you know? To be funny. <laughs> and I need you to, like, be able to go toe to toe with me over like a little debate, you know, like yeah. let's talk about what's happening in the news right now. And like, give me your opinion. I give you mine. And I really enjoy like intellectual stimulation, you know? So I think someone who can recommend smart a and new funny. book. Yeah. But also very, very, very handsome. Oh, <laughs> so you want it all, baby girl. I want it all. You want it all. I need to be very, very <laughs> handsome. It's so all handsome, funny, smart. Recommends books. Recommends books. Is really good at planning. So, okay. Are you into star signs? <laughs> a little bit. I don't really get it. Okay. I'm an Aries and that's as far as I know. <laughs> but so I was going to say, maybe you should be a, with a Virgo because they're OCD as hell. When are they hell. born? Uh, September, end of August. But wh whatever, you know. 
And someone who just whatever knows except who they handsome, are. smart, tall, assertive, uh, assertive. So you want a manly man? Yeah, like someone who's quite protective, and if someone I'm with look them, after I feel you. safe. Yeah, like I, I don't want to second guess. Like, are you gonna stand up for me or be there yeah. for me? I need someone who unapologetically, honestly, is in my corner. There is nothing sexier <gasps> than a man that makes you feel safe. Oh. And I've not felt safe with many men. No, not many men make me feel safe. You know, when you're like, mm. I don't know, when you feel a little bit anxious or or yeah. socially, like you just don't feel well and you're with someone that you don't feel safe with. You're just yeah. like, I don't feel safe with you either. Yeah. The only person I felt truly safe, safe with is like my dad. Oh, you know, that's so cute. Yeah. I agree with you on that. Like, it's not many. No. In fact, most of the time, I don't know if it's the same for you, but in my world, I find myself being the one that's like doing that for them. Like the guys, them who, feel yeah, safe. they'll be like, I need this, I need that, you know, and it's just like, mm, I need a guy no. that's like, V, I want you to switch off. I know at work, like, you're the boss and like, you're working really hard, but when you get home, you know, those quote memes or whatever it's called, where they're like, when I'm with my partner, my I, I can't even think. Yeah, you're just like, take my hand. Yeah, just and it's like, lead me the way the hell out of here. Or that's to this what list. I want. Yeah, someone, someone who, who just lets you switch your brain off. I'm the yeah. same. When I get home, it's not about like, what I do out there in the world. They're just like, I love you and I support that. And like, like your biggest cheerleader, but at home, like I'm going to baby you. I'm going to let you feel like super cute, soft, you know, all that stuff. Soft and feminine. But yeah. what I will ask you, because obviously we're both strong, independent women. Yeah. We both have careers. We're both successful yeah. in our careers. Yeah. How does it feel for you? Like, with dating in terms of like, do you find that guys ever get intimidated by mm. your success? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that ha it becomes like a weird competition. It's a and weird I find power it so dynamic. Because a man, a man wants to feel powerful. And then when he's next to a woman who may be a little bit more powerful than him, they can get quite insecure. I just find it so strange because I'm like, surely like the aspiration is that we're going to become a team, right? Like we're going to join households one day and like possibly have children and they're going to be a mix of you and I. So me winning is you winning. You winning is me winning and I'll happily cheerlead you all day. So like I need it vice versa where someone, their masculinity is not threatened by like what I'm doing. I just don't, I just don't like that. And like, they should be able to feel safe and secure. Like even if I ended up earning way more, they should still feel secure. Like, money is not the only thing that equates someone's value you know yeah. so i think i find it strange because when men are intimidated it simply is from a monetary point of view it is and i find i'm like because men so feel like things. yeah but they feel like that financial i feel like they've been brought up to think that that's what they need to provide hate it. you know i hate it because you could be the wealthiest man and, and a dick and yeah an exactly. absolute narcissist. and i feel like one of my exes he had, he was, he was doing so great, doing so well, but like ha there was no, there wasn't a spark there. There wasn't like a romantic, like understanding of me and the things I needed. No and connection. Yes. Yeah, so I just don't no think passion. that money is, money can't buy you happiness. No, so. it actually can't. It, and it, you realize that when you do get the money and you're like, yeah. why am I not happy? Like I thought this was going to make me happy. I want someone thoughtful who would be very happy to say, you know what? For the next few months, like if you need to be on the road, traveling, whatever, I'm going to stay home with the children. Then we might switch and flip and it yeah. doesn't change how he stands, how he, for me, there's nothing more attractive than someone who's like, yeah, I'll walk with you to like the spa or whatever. You know, those guys who are like, oh, I can't even hold your handbag while you go on the red carpet. Like, I don't Why? like that. Do you know uh. what I mean? I want someone who's like. Because they're intimidated. I don't know if you're watching Love Island right now. Are you watching Love Island? Yeah, but there's someone on there called Josh. Okay. And he's dating someone called Mimi. And I just feel like Josh exemplifies that kind of thing. Like he's so open in his love for Mimi. He's so proud. He's yeah. He'll be like making cute little waffles for her. Then he can still go back to the lads and still, there's no, whereas I love you that. can tell that some guys are like, if I make those waffles, everyone's going to question. Like, yeah, everyone's you know? going to think like I'm a pussy. That's what I'm saying. And I, I can't deal with that. No. I need a guy who is sure Strong. of himself. Yeah. But that means you're, you want to be with a secure man. I need a secure man. And an man. insecure man will feel intimidated by women. So what you're saying is, you don't, we don't want any insecure man around no. us. We don't want any insecure men no. around us. No narcissists. We want no. secure, stable, healthy. powerful, healthy yeah. men. Like, yeah, like we just, I need someone who's flexible and easygoing, you know? So, yeah. Do you find that when you're talking about like a healthy yeah. man and a healthy relationship, have yeah. you ever had that? <gasps> with 
passion Gosh. and fire and rainbows See, and fairies and like, butterflies. I feel like I almost had it. I feel like I got so close. I think, I feel like that's my current situation right now. And you know how I can best describe it? I feel like you watch those romance movies where the girl's thinking like, does he like me? Does he like yeah. me? And you guys are like, you're going through your rough moments, whatever. Then eventually you come out on the other side and everything is like fine. Yeah. And the guy's like running across the road about to be like, I love you. I'm going to marry you. Then he gets hit by a car. No. And then the girl like, goes the rest of her life thinking he never cared and then he's like died with the secret of like i was about to tell you like finally like i yeah that's how i feel right now like so close but yet so far that's awful <laughs> that's horrible oh my god are you okay girl yeah, okay. i hope you get out of this because that sounds like hell <laughs> Wow. That's the but at least there's hope that he didn't get hit by a car. No, he didn't get hit by a car. You know, That's he's the... still alive and roaming. Yeah, exactly. So hopefully, like, in the movie, he gets to the hospital, they revive him. But and... why didn't it happen before then, do you think? Why do these things never happen before? Have you seen that film, the series, One Day? <gasps> you know, like, it never quite happens. I feel like I'm living in one day. Really? Actually, actually, that's the like, best way. That's so you're what like, was friends? Describing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but she gets hit. Yeah, she you gets get hit. hit but then the they point. got to experience their love, at least, right? A little bit. A for like little two bit. or three months. Or but like then, yeah, year. she gets hit. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. If you want to understand the situation I'm in, watch one day. Well, no one's died, luckily. No, and no, no one one's will died. die. But that's hopefully. how I, I feel like I'm living in one day right now. Yeah, babe, that's like, I, I, I've never been in that situation where you're like with a friend and you've known them for so many years and it's like the wrong time, this, wrong time, that. And then someone's, but then how yeah. do you enter other relationships if you're liking someone else? This is the thing, like like in one day, there are moments that it's actually genuinely off. Like there's nothing going, you actually are the best of friends. Wow. Then there's moments when it's like, oh, wait a minute. You know, so I, I oh. can't explain it, but it's just, you can. One person feels this way one time, the other person doesn't. Over so then many the other years. One, it's just up and down, up and down. And then finally you might both be on the same page one day. Well, I'm Quite sure literally. literally one day it will one work out. It day. will. And if it doesn't, it's okay. Like I'm actually totally And whatever's fine meant that. to be will be. Whatever's yours will come back exactly. to you. Exactly. And what is yours will never pass you by. It will never pass you by. So if, if it doesn't work out, like I said, I'm just grateful to have that friendship and to have somebody that like you choose each other no matter how difficult the times are. Yeah. If it doesn't work out, I just know like I'll find my person one day, you know? Yeah, I'm not exactly. like stressed You're not in a rush. You're 26, I'm 25. Exactly. Like we've got the whole of the rest of our Don't lives. Before 30, thank you. Yeah, same. <laughs> thank you. And if you're also going through a one day scenario like V, yeah. just be patient, live your life. Don't wait around for a man mm. either. Don't. Focus on you. And one day, literally, one day. it will happen. And if it doesn't, don't cry about it. I mean, exactly. cry about it a little bit. Just a little bit. Just, just a little be upset. Too, it's know. okay. Mm -hmm. But then brush yourself up, yeah. get your glittery dress on and go to the party. And you know what makes it extremely difficult just to end? I would say that having big life events happening that are so iconic and so awesome and you're yeah, like, like you have on had. a high, yeah. but then your heart is on a low. Well, of course, because that's what usually happens. When my career was At the highest... Height or it's still growing, but like when it's at the height, you know, and then personally you're kind of sad and depressed inside. And it's the most strange, It's really weird. Dynamic it is. In. It is. Especially being on the internet, like yeah. you might have something pre-filmed. Now yeah. you're posting this really happy thing and yeah. you're in bed crying. It's yeah. such a weird... It is weird. Social media is a weird place. It's a weird place. But yeah, yeah. I, that's me. So if you're watching this, I may be smiling, but my heart's hurting. <laughs> yeah, well, my heart has been hurting for a lot of months this year. Oh, it's been a healing girl summer for me. Babe. Yeah, it's a heal, healing girl it's summer for both of us. Girl healing yeah. girl slash hot girl, but mostly healing. Healing, healing hot girls getting getting their careers together, getting exactly. their degrees, but their hearts are a little shaky. And that's, that's okay. okay. That's okay. This We're going to be okay. Hey, we're just, better. Therapy. That's fine. Who needs a therapist when we can just talk yeah, to each other? Sure. I just avoided my therapist. I need to talk to him. Yeah, I need to. I just had therapy yesterday. It was actually really good. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> we love therapy. We Get love yourself it. to therapy ASAP. Yes. Anyway, uh, that's the end of us. Uh, I hope you heal your heart. <gasps> one day I will. One, one day. This feels like a big one it's day. A like, whole one day. Exactly. But watch it, honestly. No, seriously. 
I've never been through that situation, but I hope you get through it with no one being run over or hit by a car. Let's pray. <laughs> Amen. 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 See you next week. See you next week. I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Bea, for coming on and Thank opening you. up your heart. Well, if not at the King of Hearts, then we're out. Exactly. You know? Oh, thank you, babe. Thanks. Love you guys. And I can't wait to just relive this and listen to it back. <laughs> and hopefully when I listen in a year, I'll be like, wow, like yeah. look at the progress that I've made. Exactly. It's like it's like a digital diary. Yes. Thank you for letting me diary it out on the digital space. Aww. Thank you for coming on. Well, see you next week. I love you. Bye, guys. Bye. Maybe I won't.